My favorite vegetable and spinach is a vegetable. I guess it has to be a vegetable. It wouldn't be a fruit. What else would it be? I don't know. It's leafy green. Does the food pyramid have a garbage section? <laughs> yes, most of the food that you eat. Hi, my name is Kat and this is my wife MJ and we are doing the couples tag. I have the questions here on my phone so we'll probably just take turns reading them to each other and we'll probably answer them together instead of quizzing each other. Where did we first meet? Well actually I met her twice. The first time that I met her in high school she was running around in a lime green anime wig announcing that she was the annoying freshman and then the second time around meeting her was in a weightlifting class the following semester. We did not get along very well. It took no. a couple of months to start talking to each other and not hating each other's guts. Yeah, we, um, I was, I kind of embraced the annoying freshman label as like a self-protective thing. I figured if I was going to get, um, mocked for being something or for being annoying, the best thing for me to do was just to embrace that and yell it as much as I could. It was, it was just a defense mechanism. And then the first time I saw her for the first time was uh, in high school. We would all kind of sit in the courtyard areas and she was letting another girl sit in her lap and just use her as a chair, which everybody kind of did. They all called her mom a cat and they yeah, apparently I was sat on her. I was off standish but cuddly. What was our first date? Our first date was before uh, school let out for Christmas holidays. Um, they let you leave school early after your exams if you had a permission slip. And my mom hadn't signed mine, so Kat forged my mom's name for me. We ended up, we went downtown and we walked around downtown. There's a, we went to high school in Mount Dora and there's a lot of like nice shops and um, little restaurants and we stopped at a little convenience store and she got me a Snapple and a Twix ice cream and you got a Snickers ice cream and an energy drink. Yeah, I was really big into Monster back then. I think it's because I was a terrible gamer on top of being <laughs> a terrible scary goth, but we walked pretty much up and down downtown Mount Dora. Uh, we walked along the train tracks, which was really cool and like romantic thinking back on it now. And then. Um, we did the boardwalk in the park, which we actually did do a vlog of that a couple of weeks ago. So you can see part of where we were on our first date. Where was our first kiss and how was it? Our first kiss was in my bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> um, That's the advantage to being closeted in high school. You can hang out with your same gender um, significant other and your parents just think that you're having a good old fashioned wholesome sleepover that was not the case because that first kiss was pretty much, I think it was like chase for like 0.5 seconds. Yeah. It, was, it was a good kiss. <laughs> <laughs> she had had a, a serious online relationship before. I had a, a girlfriend before also, um, but I knew her in real life. So I'd already been like physically active. And so when Kat said that she hadn't been kissed before, I was immediately like, I have to kiss her. I have to do it right now because if I like backpedal and try to make it like romantic and sweet, I will blow it way out of proportion and it won't live up to expectations. And putting firsts on pedestals like that anyway is pretty, you're just setting yourself up for anxiety and yeah, disappointment. Yeah, you should just be like, it's, it's okay for it to be important, but definitely don't let that ruin the experience because that's it's just an intimate experience that you're sharing with someone. It's, yeah. It, it can be a pinnacle point, but don't let it ruin it. Are you fixing me? Did you get a scratch on your face? Yeah. What happened? I don't know. It happened earlier. Thanks for licking my face. <laughs> How bad is it? I mean, you're not quite the Joker. You probably can't even see it on camera. It just startled me because I hadn't noticed it before. Oh, I don't know what happened there. Uh -oh. It was probably from earlier when I tried to hug you and your mohawk stabbed me. Did you know that I was the one? We actually, we did, we answered that in a prior take that kind of got destroyed because the camera went off, it like overheated. So I'm actually gonna, I really liked how we answered that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that previous take 
here and then we'll come back to this current take for the rest of these questions. I started going out for like the first two weeks. I didn't know because Kat and I kind of, we got along really well, but there was still a lot of um, not meshing because we were such different people and outwardly emotionally attached to you a lot faster than you did vice yeah. versa. It was weird because like I was really guarded, but then at the time I was also struggling with the online relationship that I was still in right before I decided to ask her out on our first date. And I broke it off with them because I wanted to connect with someone, but at the same time I was terrified of getting close to someone. So I really wanted it to work out because I'm like, this could be really cool. I really like her, but I was scared about it. So I don't know, like, I think, I wanna say that I thought that at least at that point in time, just because I was willing to cut off from a two year relationship because I was very sheltered Prior to moving down to Florida, I didn't really have that many friends. The internet was like my gateway. So that was a really important thing for me to be like, you know what, I want to take a shot at this and see what happens. So I would say fairly early on. The weeks into dating, I want to say like the third week or something, she was in her backyard and I was sleeping over again and um, she was pushing her cousin on this board with a rope through it. Was it was a tree swing. It was a redneck yeah. swing. But it was better than a tire swing. Um, and she was pushing her cousin. I was sitting on like that back step thing. Yeah. And it was so over dramatic an indie movie moment but like the sun like was starting to set a little bit so it like caught on her hair and she laughed and she so rarely laughed in a way that wasn't nasty. Like she was so, <laughs> me she is now, but she was so mean oh, and sarcastic wow. in, in high school that like whenever she laughed, it'd be like, <laughs> like a, just a mean it was freaking a sarcastic goth laugh. laugh. Yeah. yeah, she just sat it smiled. It was like Wednesday Adams. So it like yeah. cut people off. So I had this facade. But I think maybe she forgot I was there for a second or something, but she was legitimately having fun, like pushing her cousin around on the swing. And so she laughed. And I just had this moment where I was like, I don't care what it takes. I'm, I want to be with this person the rest of my life. Aww. And Duh. like, I just immediately was like, I, I am, I am in love. Like I love her and it's been 11 years and it's been true this entire time so obviously I did know that you were the one because I fell in love with you and it's been continuous. What was your first impression of me? The first time that I saw you in the wig I was kind of just like WTF but I was I was like that with a lot of people I was really mean and judgmental and just I had no patience for anything. The second time that I saw you um, you were in the guidance counselor's office, which I was a TA for a period, and I thought you were really attractive and hot. I didn't realize that, uh, she was the same person. I had moved away during the summer, yeah, too, and then you moved so back. that's what I was even in the office for. My mom was, like, signing me up for school again, um, because I came in at, like, halfway through that semester, almost. Yeah, so when I, when we were, I guess sort of reintroduced to each other in the weightlifting class, then that's why I was just like, oh, okay, I remember you. Mm -hmm. So. As soon as she realized she remembered me, she went back to her... <laughs> to her distaste. <laughs> She's a huge jerk. Like, <laughs> she... Like, I thought that she was, like, erythrally hot. Like, she had this whole goth thing. She wore layers upon layers and, like... I can still remember the smell of her foundation because she caked, caked that it. stuff on so hardcore. Now I'm just nerdy and... You can still be a hot, angry goth sometimes. I just, I thought that she was arrogant and rude and judgmental and incredibly hot and <laughs> like... I, I spent equal amounts of time terrified of her and wanting to bang her, like it was like exact equal measures. Cat bad, but hot. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> when did you meet the family? Um, at the time 
that we started going out, Kat was living with her aunt and uncle, and the first time that I went over her house, I met them. Um, her aunt intimidated the hell out of me. Then you met my mom when, um, after I came out to my mom, stuff was not good oh, for- Oh, yeah, that was not good. Yeah, stuff was not good for a while when I came out to my mom, and it got to a point where I kind of just told her, you're killing me, and um, as like a way to try to, I don't know, make peace or whatever, she had Kat come over um, and I, like I had to fight with her pretty hard to get it to happen in the first place, but uh, Kat came over and she like slept on the couch and my mom kind of avoided you and yeah, yeah. Except for giving me weird dirty looks and now it's like yeah so my mom like went forward enough to agree to have the meeting in the first place but not enough to engage engage yeah so um that's that and I met her brother um he had no idea for a couple of years. His, his wife at the time, his ex-wife now, the new at the time, and then he it he wouldn't let it click. Like, he kept saying that it, that's not... Yeah, we, I mean, we moved out before I was even 18, because um, I was not getting along with my, my mom's husband at the time. And so we've been, we'd been living in, a, in, a, in apartments together with one bed, usually with one bedroom, for years and like street people's ability to just be like those pals are so close look at them saving money on rent sleeping in the same bed together what's that on their bedside table weird rubber Whoa. art installation <laughs> not advertiser That's... friendly it was our first road trip <laughs> oh no it's so bad so it's so bad because it was in the same state back in the days before google maps there was mapquest and it was fairly new and you had to print mapquest out and mapquest was infamous for sending you to the middle of nowhere and on top of that cat had only had her license for like a couple of months yeah i was a late bloomer when it came to getting a driver's license but to be fair i was the only person in our entire friend group that actually got their driver's license so so we were going to go visit one of her like obscure relatives and was like a two supposed to be like a two hour drive or something we got lost for like eight hours yeah. and then i finally gave up figured out how to go back home and then <laughs> called them and it just like no you did not yeah, call she called them after this relative had called her like three times i finally pick up and this was on like that little walkie talkie phone thing this is before cell phones were like it was before the cell flip phone, phone looking yeah, I don't even remember what brand that phone was. So was I had to tell this woman who I'd never met. Um, so like two hours ago, we decided to just drive home because we're like down towards the Keys and that is not where we're supposed to be. <laughs> so we're going to try again tomorrow. And I think we had like the dog and a cat. Yeah, we brought all of our pets because it was like, it was their first time like moving out and we were going to be there for like two or three days yeah. and we didn't want to leave our pets behind so we were just like we're just going to bring everybody including the <laughs> the rabbit and our dog and our cat it's a mess it was yeah a mess. that was it was pretty terrible I said i love you first and where were we we were in bed <laughs> it was right after our first kiss you said it first yeah and you, then i said it back yeah and then um cat was Kat was struggling a lot with um, the concept of being emotionally intimate. So after we had been saying it back and forth for a couple of weeks, she told me she didn't want me to say it anymore. So we like backed off from that for a while. Um, yeah, because I'm butthead. That was just a really crappy <laughs> time for me as a person. Yeah, so you were going just like, a lot. I don't want to have emotional attachments to you, but it was also in part because at that point I was like really falling for you and I wanted and was enjoying having a relationship, even if I was being a total dick on the outside. <laughs> Internally, there were so many feels. What do we argue about the most? Oh, God. Money. Money. I'm just going to be honest. It's always money because it's so stressful mm -hmm. because like right now I have the best job that I've ever had so we're actually able to go do things 
but when we do those things and we budget out all of the bills and stuff, when we get down to like our last 10 bucks, because we do still live paycheck to paycheck. Um, we're still technically below poverty line yeah. by a couple of grand. Yeah, but we're doing we're close. a lot better. We're yeah, close. Almost there. But um, yeah, money and then just like mental health stuff that it's very stressful and like it's hard enough to deal with that stuff like by yourself as a person internally but then to also try to like nurture each other relationship wise and deal with each other's anxieties or if one of us is having a bad day etc that's probably where we argue the most the nice thing about both of those though is the fact that like that's not a personal thing between the two of us yeah. it's outside influence so it's a lot easier to step back from that and resolve the argument really quickly because i hate i can't go to bed at, like mad I don't know how people have like huge blow up fights and then they don't talk to each yeah. other until like the next day. I can't do that. Mm -hmm. I will be a crying mess of just like, hey babe. <laughs> so I, I like though that we can be like, okay, that was irrational of me. This is where I was at a headspace. It's always just like she said, money and um, mental illness um, causing some kind of friction. So it's it's not really we don't really have very many problems yeah i don't have any beef with you yeah no beef <laughs> i hate this question who wears the pants in the relationship <laughs> i hate this question I, I do appreciate the fact that this tag is actually intended for straight people like it's it's usually called like the boyfriend tag or the girlfriend slash boyfriend tag so to ask you know who wears the pants in the relationship to a heterosexual couple um is kind of progressive because you are implying that you know it could be the the girl instead but um gender roles are stupid yeah gender roles are dumb but that being said um i think i make a lot of the decisions because i'm very particular about how i want things and my schedule and my comfort zone and so i make a lot of decisions so i wear the pants in terms of that Kat is the breadwinner and you know she's definitely the rock of the relationship so she wears the pants when it comes to that sort of stuff. I wouldn't call me the rock of the relationship but I, I am the winner of the breads. I win all of the breads. If we're sitting in front of the TV what are we watching? Oh I like this one. Uh, it's YouTube. Yeah a lot of YouTube. We don't have cable and we do have internet now so we just stream youtube through the xbox and and we have netflix sometimes i watch a lot of obscure horror movies on netflix when we have access to it or i'm always watching courage the cowardly dog or spongebob yeah. i will never get tired of those cartoons so if i have like 20 minutes to myself i will go up and and sneak and watch cartoons i like to watch stuff like this and i like to watch vloggers and um we we watch like a lot of um video game youtubers yeah and let's plays are yeah a go-to always what dressing do i like on my salad you eat ranch on your stuff i don't eat salad i am very content not eating salad i've and before anybody jumps on my crap i've tried to enjoy rabbit food many times throughout my life i've tried all kinds of dressings i've tried all kinds of consistencies salad is disgusting there's nothing redeeming <laughs> about salad you're gonna get so many angry ha people. hashtag salad sucks like i no i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm not sorry though because salad is disgusting and if you eat salad i i don't even know what to say to you i'm not i'm sorry you have to eat it like i'm sorry you've i like eating salad i'm obsessed with spinach like, you make spinach salad sometimes yeah. for work and stuff so um, Ooh, shut your mouth you hater what's one food i don't like a better question than that though for you in particular is what food do you actually like yeah she's I, so picky <laughs> like i like i've said a couple of times before i am autistic and one of the things that tends to come with that is um, I'm very, very texture sensitive, so I have a very, very small group of foods that I'm actually comfortable eating, and I just eat those. Cat will put anything in her mouth, 
She will eat. I don't I don't think that you should phrase it like that because that's not true. I'm actually trying to think of something that I don't like because before I hated tomatoes and then just randomly this year I really like tomatoes now. That's like the only thing I could think of that I didn't like. What would I eat every day if I could? You'd probably eat stuff that's not good for you. I really do like hot wings, but I can't eat a whole lot of those in one setting. Um, spinach. Yeah, spinach she and bacon sandwiches. She's been eating so much too. spinach lately. Yeah. Like, so much. It's my favorite vegetable, and... Spinach is a vegetable? I guess it has to be a vegetable. It wouldn't be a fruit. What else would it be? I don't know. It's leafy green. Does the food pyramid have a garbage section? <laughs> yeah, it's most of the food that you eat. What's our favorite music? She listens to, like, everything terrible. She listens to all the emo music where I'm like, okay, this was really great, and then they started screaming. I have iHeart on my phone. I have a Nine Inch Nails radio station. I have a The Cure. And You're so gone. <laughs> and then I have, I really like the Panic at the Disco one because that plays screamo on it sometimes, which is, but I, I like all kinds of music. Are you fixing me? It. It's facing the wrong way. Uh, okay, I think it. It's our favorite sports team. We don't. I don't do sports. Lot. I want to get into it. We we do like we go watch professional wrestling, which is sports entertainment. Um, <laughs> I want to go athletes. watch. I want to go watch soccer. I want to go watch hockey. I want to go watch baseball. I'm not really. I liked playing football when I was younger, but I don't really. I don't want to watch it. Um, but we haven't gone around to it. Yeah. Um, I liked the Red Sox growing up as a kid just because I used to watch baseball with my grandpa. And then I got really into following the New York Giants during football season at the sandwich shop that we worked at. Um, they made everybody pull a football team out of a hat and whoever got the closest to the Super Bowl, like they had, we had a small pool of money and that person won, which... I, I got to win because that was the year that they totally crushed the Patriots a couple years back. What's something that I do that you don't like? Oh no. I nervous, yeah. I nervous stim a lot. And like we live in an RV because it's really cheap. You know, this is as close as we could find a place to her work because she works in Orlando and it's so expensive over there. Um, so we live in an RV and the tires are not very well aired. So when I start like rapidly tapping my foot, yeah, she bounces her leg. The whole house bounces and it makes her nauseous and she can get pretty annoyed. You don't really do it that often. Yeah. And I mean, it's okay to be annoyed just because I do it like unconsciously or as a self-soothing thing doesn't mean that it's not going to affect you. Like you're allowed to be annoyed by things that I do. I obsessively say sorry. I am such a self-blamer. Like Everything, she thinks everything is her fault. Yeah. And everything I'm, I'm is still, her responsibility. It's, it's one of those things where I obsessively am just like, oh, I messed that up or how am I going to fix this? And it's just something that I'm working on, so. Yeah. Yeah. Is that all of them? Yeah. That's all the questions. Oh, wow. We did it and we Yay! didn't murder each other. But if you liked this video, you should definitely click the thumbs up because... Why wouldn't you? Yeah. Why wouldn't you? Why aren't you doing it right now? Rude. Um, <laughs> we're a vlogging channel. We go out every single weekend and we try to bring you guys along with us. So we're always trying to do something different. Right now, we're really into Halloween Horror Nights, so there's a lot of that. Throughout October, we're going to be doing all kinds of fun stuff related to Halloween because it's her favorite holiday. And it's the first time we've ever actually gotten to celebrate it other than watching a couple of scary movies. So, yeah. so um, if you want to come along with us, you should definitely subscribe. Yes, please. If you have any questions or comments, you can comment down below. And if you guys have done the couples tag with your significant other, especially if you're LGBTQIA, you should definitely show me that. I love to watch these videos. I love subscribing to queer couples' vlogs. Yeah. And we still don't know how to do an outro. Yeah, how do we do so. the outro? I don't know. Thank you guys. If you're still watching, um, thank you guys for watching us. And I guess we'll see you in the next video. Yeah. Bye.